Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate the Feast of the Apostles, Saints Philip and James. Through their intercession, we ask that we might see the Lord Jesus working in our daily lives. And so, as we begin this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, 
have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the Apostles Philip and James, grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preach to you, which you indeed receive and in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved. If you hold fast to the word I preach to you, unless you believe in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve, after that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. the life, says the Lord, Philip, whoever has sinned me has sinned the Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father? And the Father is in me. The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen. I say to you, whoever believes in me, will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son if you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today two apostles, two of the twelve apostles of our Lord. Saints Philip and James. And that is why in our two stories, two Bible passages today, from the first reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, and our gospel passage today from the Gospel of John, the two apostles were mentioned. The Apostle James was mentioned in our first reading and the Apostle Philip in our Gospel passage. And what will be the, the common experience of the two in our Bible passage today? Both of them have seen Jesus. To both of them, Jesus appeared. And the question is, have they really seen Jesus? Pareha sa kanila. Kay San Felipe at uh, Santiago, parehas na nagpakita si Jesus. Pero ang tanong, talaga bang nakita nila si Jesus? Kung titingnan po nating mabuti sa kwento ng buhay ng mga apostol, ng mga alagad ni Jesus, lagi siyang nagpapakita sa kanila. The appearance of Jesus is very important in the life of the apostles. If we will look closely in our first reading, in the letter of St. Paul, for him, as an apostle of Jesus, it is very important that they were witnesses, that Jesus appeared to them. He appeared to Cephas, to Peter, to the apostles, to the other disciples, and to James. And then lastly, St. Paul said, he also appeared to me, the least of all the apostles. But for St. Paul, it is very important that Jesus appeared to the disciples. 
That is why in our gospel passage today, when Philip Ask Jesus, Lord, show us the Father. Master, show us the Father. Jesus was uh, baffled by the question of Philip. Have I been with you for so long a time and yet you have not seen the Father? Tinatanong ni Jesus, Araw-araw tayong magkasama. Hindi mo pa ba ako nakikita ng mabuti? And my dear brothers and sisters, I think this is the reminder of our feast day today that it is very important that Jesus appears to His disciples but it is also very important to ask, if Jesus appeared to me, then... Have I seen Him clearly? Kasi baka, nariyan si Jesus. Nagpapakita na sa atin, pero hindi naman pala natin siya nakikita. And so it is important for a disciple that Jesus appears to His disciples and the disciple should clearly see the Lord and recognize that it is the Lord appearing to him. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, on the feast day of Saints Philip and James, to whom Jesus appeared, let us ask for the grace to see the Lord. Ito po yung biyaya na hihilingin natin ngayong araw sa pagsisimula natin ng linggong ito, ang biyaya na makita natin ang Panginoon. And Jesus is showing to us Himself day by day, according to the Gospel passage, in His words, in His works, he is appearing to us day by day. But the question is, like the question posed by Jesus to Philip, I have been working day to day in your life. I have been speaking to you day by day. I have been appearing to you day by day. And my question is, Jesus said to Philip, have you really seen me? Today, we ask the Lord Jesus for the grace to see Him. Ang sabi ng Panginoong Jesus, araw-araw, kapiling nyo ako. Ang aking salita, naririnig ninyo. Ang aking mga gawain, nakikita ninyo. Pero ang tanong, nakikita nyo ba ako sa lahat ng yan? Kaya kapag dumarating po sa punto ng buhay natin na parang nasasabi natin at naitatanong, nasaan ka, Panginoon? Pagpakiramdam natin na para ang, ang Panginoon ay nawawala, hindi ko maramdaman, hindi ko makita, tandaan natin na hilingin ang biyaya ng Diyos sa tulong ng mga apostol, sila rin ay nakaranas. Nagpakita ang Panginoon, subalit kinakailangan natin ang biyaya ng Panginoon para makita natin siya. Kahit sa gitna ng pagsubok, kahit sa gitna ng problema, kahit sa gitna ng kapaguran, ng sakit, at kahit sa karanasan ng kamatayan, hilingin natin ng biyaya sa Panginoon. Panginoon, bigyan niyo po ako ng biyaya na makita kayo sapagkat yan ang pangako mo sa mga apostol na nariyan ako, gumagawa ako, kumikilos ako, nagsasalita ako sa iyo, baka hindi mo lang ako nakikita. Baka hindi lang nakikita ng mga mata mo ang aking presensya. 
This is the grace that we ask the Lord today. Lord Jesus, give me the grace to see you, to hear you, to see your works, to hear your words, to see your presence, to see your appearance to me. And just like what you promised to Philip, when you see me, then you will also see the Father. In this celebration of the Eucharist, let us ask the Lord Jesus for the grace to see His presence. Even if there are times of darkness, there are times of confusion, there are times that we do not feel Him, let us ask and pray for that grace, the grace to see our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for the needs of the members of the Church through the intercession of Saints Philip and James. For every petition, let us say, Preserve us in your ways, Lord. Preserve us in your ways, Lord. That bishops and priests may fearlessly undertake the task of evangelization, even in most unwelcoming places. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve, Preserve us in your ways, Lord. That those who do not know Christ may be led to the light of the gospel by the teachings and examples of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve, Preserve us in your ways, Lord. That we may be witnesses of the gospel through our service of neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ways, Lord. That healing may be granted to the sick through our ministry and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ways, Lord. That those who diligently toiled in this life may receive their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ways, Lord. Father, your Son reveals your love for us, aided by the prayers of courageous pastors who care for your people, we bring our petitions before you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the apostles Philip and James and bestow on us religion pure and undefiled. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, Philip and James, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that contemplating you in your Son, together with the apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen. Yeah.
Alleluia, ipanalangin 